Hi guys, how are you doing today? I'm sorry for filming in what is basically the dark. This is Sweden. This is actually it's like 12 o'clock midday and this is as much light uh, as we have. So I don't know how I'm going to be able to film in the winter time because I don't have studio lights. So I hope you can bear with me even though things are blue and shadowy and stuff. And by the way, the gnome's ring is not real. I just felt like trying it out. So, to the point, this is a short fragrance review. It's uh, one of the Frédéric Mal scents. Let's see if we can zoom you in. Geranium pour Monsieur. And this is a scent that I'm guessing is only for men, but can't really say that I think this is a men's cologne or a women's cologne. This is a weird one, I have to say. I've been actually saving this and I've been trying it a couple of times because I cannot make up my mind. This is one of these that I I would love you to comment and tell me, have you tried this? What do you think of it? Because it is a nice scent, but it is kind of a weird scent to me. When you spray it on, it's super duper strong. It's like minty, to the point of not the like um, chewing gum minty or the toothpaste minty but just like a really naturally strong mint and it almost has like tea tree oil and eucalyptus and just and some lemongrass to me it just really hits you with this type of mint that is a very medicinal and natural mint so depending on if you like that or not, that is going to be um, something that just plays into whether you like this perfume or not. It is refreshing to me because it is a mint that is not a toothpaste mint or a chewing gum mint. So I'm thinking if you want something that is more a natural mint or more a grown-up mint, this could be it. And then it kind of quickly goes over into green leaves for me, like not tomato leaves, some type of flowery, you know, when you, you press flower leaves and you have that a little bit, um, not tart, what am, <laughs> which word am I as, as looking for? That little bit of a bitter scent, that kind of an oil, which is also kind of a natural aromatic oil. And then it goes over to a little bit of spices and uh, black pepper, uh, like I think they're called carnations and cloves. So this could actually be a good scent if you celebrate Christmas because this is kind of, you get kind of those spices. So the reason I think this is kind of weird is because I don't really know who would wear it because you would like, you would have to like really natural kind of herbally type of scents. And also like the first part where it's extremely minty, uh, which lasts on me for an hour or two. And then you would have to like the like middle part or the longest part, which is uh, kind of spicy and very strong. And then it kind of mellows out, but just for like the last hour or something like that. So it's a lot going on and it's very, very special. So I could see most people not liking this, but some people loving it and actually having this as their signature scent. So. I think in my mind it might smell better on a man than a woman, that's just my personal opinion, but I do not think this is only for men, this is very much a unisex scent, so don't be afraid to try it if you're a woman. I would say that if you are the kind of person that kind of shies away from the chemically perfumed smells and tries more aromatic oils and stuff, I think you would like this. The uh, projection of this is medium, I would say. It's not It's not going to be offensive to anyone, but they will probably smell it if they are close to you. And I always forget to breathe when I'm talking about perfumes because I get so excited. So I just talk and talk and talk. Ah, breathing. Breathing is good. Uh, so, and the longevity is quite good, I would say. Um, the part where it is a strong fragrance lasts for probably like six hours and the skin fragrance lasts even longer. So this is a perfume that you just have to try and I would love you guys' feedback. Do you like this? Don't you like this? What do you think of it? Because it is, it's an interesting one. 
that's what I what I want to say about this one. The only perfume that I can think of to kind of compare it to is the old Lush line. They had a scent, I think it was called Breath of God. It was a bluish type of perfume. And that one kind of had that type of a mint scent because it was very, very minty, but again, not toothpaste or chewing gum minty, more of a natural type of kind of mint. So if you have smelled that, that is the only thing I can compare this to. I have not smelled a lot of things that smell this way and I was really intrigued by this. Personally, no, I would not buy it. I would not wear it, but that doesn't mean it's a bad perfume. It's high quality and it does smell nice. I think if I just smelt it on someone else, I would like it, but for me, no. So I hope you excuse the lighting and all the shadows and stuff and I'm hoping you have a good day and uh, just talk to me if there's anything that you would like to see or not see or anything like that. So I hope you have a good day guys. Bye!